Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make preparations to flash your BenQ drive for your Xbox 360, okay? What you're going to need to do is first download a program called WinRAR, which you can get from a website called rarlab.com, okay? Um, I have a link on the side um, already downloaded. So all you got to do is scroll down and just click on WinRAR 3.71, okay? Alright, you're going to want to install that, and when it's done installing, you're going to want to go to th uh, this website called 360 Mods. I'll have a link on the side too, don't worry. And you're going to want to download the uh, X-Men's downloader, okay? I already have one downloaded, so I'm not going to do it. Next, what you're going to want to do is open, um, I'll have a link, and you're going to have to download this from File Hippo called .NET Framework Version 3.5, okay, and you're going to need to install that so it helps update all your chipsets and blah blah blah, and what you're really going to need to do is make sure you have a chipset like this, I'll have a website in case, I'll, I'll decide that in case you need to buy one, if you have a different kind of set of chipset, let me know and I'll tell you how to do it from that kind, but this is the kind I had and that's how I used it, alright, once you have all that installed, what you're going to want to do, is go to the place where you download your xbins file which is this right here, it'll look like this mine was on my desktop but I would drag it in here don't worry about anything else, I'll show you that in a second you're gonna wanna open that and when you open this it's gonna like it may take a few times but if like when you open it don't move your mouse just let go and wait till it's opened all the way completely cause it gets really gay and it'll stop working if you move and it's, I don't know, it's it's really old school technology um, yeah and now just wait a few seconds. Won't take long. Crap, it disconnected me. Alright, I'm gonna have to open this up again. You will see that disconnected sign, it pisses you off, trust me. Um let's see, let's see, I can open up this folder. Alright, if it'll patch me through which it's working on right now, it looks like it may oh yeah, it Alright, yeah, it should pass, t patch me through right now. Yep, it's patching me through. Alright. You'll see waiting for the welcome message, don't worry. Alright. This is the only part that takes probably the longest, is just waiting for this to pop up. And now it'll go into this crap, it's retarded. Alright, when the list pops up, you're going to want to see, you'll see these three folders. Click on Xbox 360, and wait for it to load up. Alright, the two folders that we're going to be, or the one folder, we're sorry, that in here is firmware, okay? You're going to click that. Alright, the, then we're going to use both these folders, and since this is the first folder, I'll just go ahead and use it. Alright, what you're going to see is a whole lot of crappy, pretty much useless folders. You'll see this folder called Firm Tool. You're going to click it, wait for it to open up, and you'll see this folder right here, okay? What you're going to do is take this file right here, Firm Tool 1.2 RAR drag it to your desktop, you'll see a little icon right here, mine says desktop right here, that's where you're going to drag it, okay, um, once you're done dragging it over there, it'll load up, and then you just click right here, and it'll take you back to this, okay, then you're going to go down to iPrep 101, which is this file, open it, and you're going to wait till that opens, and then you're going to click, okay, don't click this one, it may be the newer version, but it does not work worth a crap, so click on old, and then what I did is I downloaded the first one, which is this one right here. Um, but don't click on this one; it's this RAR, just the uh, iPrep 006 point RAR. Okay, you're gonna click that, and you're gonna drag it over. But I already have it, so I'm not. All right, then you're gonna go back, and let's see. Hold on, let me see if I can ever get there. Alright, yeah, you're going to go back to where it says hacked firmware, okay, you're going to click that and open it. Alright, and when you open this, you'll see a whole lot of drives, you're going to click on your BenQ drive that you have, okay. Alright, once you open this up, you'll see these folders, don't worry about any of them except for the first one, okay. You're going to drag that to your desktop, and then it'll tell you when it's done, and then after that, I think you should, yeah, you should have all your... Um, things done, you can just close your x downloader. Alright, let me go through and delete these real quick because I don't need them. Alright. Um, 
what you're going to need to do on this is um, you'll install your iPrep. Let me get this done. Alright, mine's an iPrep 101. Um, you're going to see it's this file right here. These other ones are just because I downloaded the whole file. Let me just run through and delete them. Um, What you're going to want to do is you'll see this file, okay? Just click Extract Here. Right click on it and click Extract Here. It'll pop up. It'll say that. But mine's already here, so I'll just click Yes to All. Why not? Alright, this will pop up. Okay, what you're going to want to do is install this file. And as soon as you have it installed, just um, don't open it immediately. Wait and go back and then extract your firmware tool. Just Extract Here. And then wait, it'll say yes, just click yes to all if it does that. Um, go to firm tool 1.2, it'll have a file. You'll see this, don't do anything with it yet, and you should have an iPrep folder on, on your desktop right here, like mine. What you're going to do is go to uh, start, um, go to my computer, go to local disk C, which is your hard drive, program files. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and look for a folder called X Projects. If you don't have that, you know you installed iPrep wrong and you need to do it again. You'll see this folder, iPrep, just click on that, open it. You'll see these, just click on, um, wait, hold on, let me go back. Yeah, iPrep 101, you'll install, okay, you'll click on Resources, and then you'll see Tools, you click Tools, and then you're going to take your firm tool that's in here and just drag it into here. Okay, mine's already there, so just yes. If it says yes, if it asks you to replace it, it says yes or no, just cl automatically click yes because that's a different firmware, okay? That's why you need this one, and then after that, you can just close that. Alright, let me open mine back up. Alright, once that's installed, okay, for your iPrep, you're going to want to click on iPrep 101 on your desktop. And, uh, put this into my computer if it went in right there we go alright alright yeah no I don't want to target that drive um, make sure you have a USB flash drive or a removable disk whatever you want to call them a little bit of USB flashes you just it's a portable hard drive they're like a gig you can get them at Walmart you know at any computer store um, alright this will come up okay I need to close that Alright, what you're gonna first thing you're gonna do is need to go to tools and then check for updates, okay? Mine is there's no updates, but you'll you when you do it and you haven't installed it yet and it's installed the first time, you'll click tools and then update and it should give you an update called like I X or X I D E X or something like that. And just install that. It doesn't take it automatically does it if you just click OK. Alright. Then what you're gonna do is go down to the BenQ Extreme firmware and click on load firmware. Alright, and then you find where you put your BenQ like, iExtreme uh, version 1.4 and click open on it. Alright, this is where the only part that really comes in really use. Okay, don't do the stealth version because there's n it's really quiet and takes forever to load a game. And don't do, you can do 8x, it's just, it's a little quieter but it still takes a little while. It's quieter but it takes a long time to load a game. And these, it takes forever, and it was super quiet. And then pretty much the lower you go, the, the worse it is. But the best one right here is probably this one, 12x. Just click yes. All right, hold on, let me. You should, when you first open it up, you'll have um, this right here, DOS flash compatible only. All right, you're gonna want to click to switch to SCI, which mine just switched to it. You're gonna, and it should come up to this, and it should show your RAID chipset controller. And you're gonna click patch the MTK, uh, MTK flash, patch that, and then you're gonna find your drive that you just clicked on and make format device bootable. Now it'll prepare it and crap, and that's pretty much all you're gonna need to do for this. Oh, I got a blister on my hand that hurts. Um. It doesn't take too long, it just takes a second. Mine's gonna say error because it's already done. 
And if it does, I'm going to be shocked. Nope. All right. Preparation complete. That's what you're going to want to see. Just click OK and then close that. And then pretty much that's all you need to do. The next video I will have, it'll show you everything else that you're going to need to do to actually flash the 360. It'll take you through DOS and everything. Until then, uh, hit me up and we'll be good.